Hi, I'm Zach Marks, founder of Grom Social. Using technology online and social media has changed my life. Taking responsibility for being a good digital citizen starts with you. If you're like me, you use the internet for a lot of different things like researching school assignments, gaming, chatting with your friends, and even a little bit of online shopping. What kids don't realize is that every time they're on the internet, they leave behind a digital footprint. What that means is every comment and picture you post and share on your social media, your Skype calls, app use, email records, and every site that you visit all become a part of your online history that has the potential to be seen by others or tracked in a database. This is called your digital footprint and it will follow you for the rest of your life. Have you ever Googled yourself? Well, there's a good chance that someone has or will be Googling you in the future and reviewing your social media posts. People like teachers, coaches, activity leaders, college admission boards, and especially future employers. So how do you want to represent yourself? Remember, digital footprints don't go away and follow you for life. Would you ever hold up a sign with all your personal information on it in a public place? If you wouldn't do it in public, why would you do it online? Digital citizens are smart and know how to protect their personal information. You can stay safe online and avoid TMI and overshares by remembering to use privacy settings and don't accept friend requests from people you don't know. Use a nickname that does not identify your location, gender, or age. Never share your username or password with anyone, not even your best friend. Never meet someone in person that you met online. If anyone asks to meet you in person or just gives an overall creepy feeling, stop communicating with them right away and tell a trusted adult. They will help you decide the best course of action. Cyberbullying is a global problem and has a devastating emotional and psychological effect on its victims. Be kind online and think how you would feel if you are being bullied or threatened online. Some people become victims of cyberbullying because instead of a real-life face-to-face confrontation, they are hiding behind a screen, texting on a cell phone, or posting on a mobile device. They think it protects them from being a bully. What about you? Do you see the person behind the internet address? If you are being cyberbullied, ignore mean or threatening messages. Block the sender. Tell a trusted adult or teacher who can help you resolve your experience properly. Remember, cyberbullying is no joke. If your friends are cyberbullying someone and you stay silent, you're just as guilty as they are. Do the right thing. Speak up and be heard. Don't forward embarrassing photos or messages. Don't comment on insulting or harassing posts. Report bullying to the website or app administrators. Tell a teacher at school if it involves a classmate. Support the victim by being a good friend and showing the cyberbullies you won't join in. If you haven't noticed, hacking has been in the news quite a bit lately. Hacking exploits a weakness in a computer system or network. Kids between the age of 14 and 16 are even being tried as adults for felony crimes related to hacking activity. Recently, a student in Florida hacked into a teacher's system and changed her screen saver. That 14-year-old student was charged with a felony crime. A great way to remember all of this information is to use the acronym THINK. T, is it true? H, is it helpful? I, is it inspiring? N, is it necessary? K, is it kind? Think before you post and be kind online. Treat others online like you would like to be treated in person. Remember, it's awesome to be a good digital citizen online, but don't let social media take over your life. Be sure to spend quality time with your friends and family.